Chuck Liddell. All right, talented fighter making the walk here tonight. I will be surprised, Joe, if we see him put on his back at any point tonight. Incredible takedown defense, great balance, very solid base, an outstanding sprawl that's very quick and athletic. And for a lot of fighters, they waste a lot of energy trying to bring this man down. Got to think the smart approach will be to see if you can get the shot early, but if it doesn't materialize, go to plan B. This guy's takedown defense north of 90%. Some of the best takedown artists in the world have failed to take him down. on this roster, the former UFC light heavyweight champion, Tito Ortiz, draws rave reviews for his coachability, physically and mentally tough, and he puts a pace on fighters that few guys are able to match. So let's see what Tito Ortiz has left as he gets ready for another showcase fight here tonight. Ortiz comes in with a ton of world-class experience as the former longtime light heavyweight champion. He's a powerful wrestler, and he's probably going to look to take this fight to the ground and deliver some of his patented ground and pound. Our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. More than five years apart, with the same height, and some differences in reach. All right, now to get us started, here's Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 18 wins, eight losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of San Luis Obispo, California, Presenting the member of the UFC Hall of Fame and the former UFC light heavyweight champion, the Iceman, Chuck Liddell. And now we're going to his opponent fighting out of the red corner, a wrestler. Only a professional record of 16 wins, five losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Huntington Beach, California, USA, Tito Ortiz! And with the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's Here go. we go. Tags him. And he lands the roundhouse. Just out of range with that right hook. Double leg takedown, stuffed. Oh, that kick is good by Tito. He avoids the clinch. Throwing that jab, no good. So the wrestler goes for another takedown here, and again, he is stuffed. So this striker wanted to keep the fight upright, and the takedown defense has allowed him to do so. Tito gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Wow! This could be it! Oh, look at this! Who saw that coming? Oh, he connected with an elbow. Back to full guard. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Huge elbow to the head. And really starting to make these shots count. What a jab. He got oh, the kill. Wow. This could be it right here. Oh! oh huge right hand. hand! This fight is dangerous and close to being stopped. How about 
that shoot. Jockey in for position here on the clinch. Both fighters trying to get a more dominant position. That knee might have landed there. Oh, hook to the head by the Iceman. Good sweep here. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Lands oh, a big elbow man, there. Man, that is rough. Into full guard again. Liddell's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by the Iceman. Well, just because you're on your back doesn't mean you can't throw offense. Staying busy here, you'd like to see that, Joe. Another takedown attempt here. Well, picture perfect execution there as he lands another takedown. He's already landed several, and this is the score in this one, Joe. His game plan coming in was to get the fight to the ground, and there really hasn't been much resistance for him in doing so. Yep. Knock him down, you're gonna knock him down again. I want you to finish him this time. Okay, go out there, set him up. Let's take a look at some of the action from that round. Let's take a look at that again. Let's see it one more time. Brittany Palmer doing her thing as usual. All right, round two. That last round was an all-out brawl. If they continue like that in this round, someone's getting knocked out. Tito Ortiz is one of the best ground and pound artists in the history of the ultimate. Oh! He is in trouble. And now a head kick to boot. He hurt him with that hook. Great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. We have just reached the midway point of the fight. Look at this reversal. Full mount. Postures up here. Throws the left hand. Oh, nice elbow there from the top. The grounded pound is working tonight. This is crazy. Throws the right hand there. Nice shot to the head. 90 seconds now to go in round two. Able to land the left hand there. Excellent posture. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Back to side control. 30 seconds now to go on the round. Got a reverse triangle here. Let's go. 
looks like he's got the reverse triangle locked up tight. Looks to secure that ankle underneath his knee. He's got it. This is getting tighter and tighter. He might have to tap. All right, that's the end of round number two. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. And let's you, see that again. I don't know how he survived that knockdown. You're going to go out there. Thank you very much, Ariane. Celeste is here. Third round underway. Now, starting off this round, he might still be hurt. He's going to want to look to be defensive and move and avoid getting hit and try to recover. High kick! Oh! He hurt him! He's got him hurt here. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. Oh, and again, he stuffs the takedown. So after his opponent had a lot of success early on with his takedowns, not so much here. Takedown defense on point on that exchange. He's got full control here, double underhooks. Oh, a lot of volume here. Good series of strikes there. Oh, he clipped him there. Oh, nice timely trip there to get the takedown. A little bit uneventful. He's moving from full guard and passes into half guard. And he's softening him up with elbow. Under three minutes remain in this third and final round. Oh, no! oh huge shot. right hand! He's in a lot of trouble. Big shots! Big body, body shot. shot there, too. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. Hip escape, gets out of the full mount. Excellent movement here on the ground. Moves to half guard. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Gets up again here, but hurting. Well, you oh! A huge barrage of strikes. He kept coming and finally landed one big bomb for the knockout. Yeah, Joe, just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. And here we see it one more time. Look at the timing in this shot. I mean, just stiff. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 41 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by So there's the man of the moment, just the way he drew it up here tonight as he gets his hand raised and does so emphatically by way of the KO. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way at the end of the night, I'm not sure. Still a few fights to go, but at the very least, you can be sure his next fight will be a big one, and he will celebrate deep into the night with his teammates, his coaches, and his friends after this monumental victory here under the bright lights tonight. Yeah, HOP, that on me. Prodigy. When I hit the track, which I'm gone. I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone. Yeah, homie G, the code MC, rolling deep to your vicinity. Yeah. I just had an epiphany, I don't know what it did to me, but I'm hoping the devil doesn't get into me. Yeah. Still a beast, hoops. It is me, it's finna be off the chain with a brand new delivery. Yeah. Try to get in my way, the feeling the rage, just sit in my brain, and then I blast you to smithereens.